Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in any personal reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. There you can find a variety of readings. And make sure that you're in the right Etsy shop. There are scammers stealing my readings and redirecting links and so on and so forth. So I've done over 660 readings. Make sure you're seeing that number there. Okay, so let's get to it, Leo. Your overall energy is the Nine of Cups, the Universe, the moon, and the six of pentacles. All right, so Leo, I feel like with the nine of cups and the moon card, you don't see that a wish is going to be granted. So if you've been thinking about something that you've been wanting for a while, this could be in any area of life, not just love. I feel like you intuitively could know but it's about to be revealed to you. We're going to clarify that in a moment. And the Six of Pentacles in the universe, I feel like whatever this wish is, it's going to bring in abundance. And you're going to feel more balanced because of it. Hmm. Have you been wishing for like two of something? Like... Uh, two of a job, two of a, um, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> of a lover? I don't know. What have you been wishing for, Leo? Because I feel like it's here. See? What you've been waiting for. The Hermit. And the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you've been thinking a lot about this. Whatever it is that you've been waiting for and wanting, you've been thinking a lot about it. So it's not just something that's like off the cuff. You've actually been a little anxious about it coming and showing up. But I think it's something that you've forgotten about. I want to say that you've forgotten about because it's been a while. All right, so clarifying the nine of cups is the six of cups, ace of cups, and the heart of swords. Hmm. Okay, so this could be a wish about a person coming back from the past. And your heart could be telling you, this is what you want. This is your truth. You feel like there's a connection there that there always has been, that it didn't go anywhere. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the Spirit of Cups, the Movement of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So you're really going to be all up in your feelings here, although you will be a little bit guarded, the Hanged Man. I do feel with this wish coming in, you're about to see something from a new perspective. It could be this person. Maybe they're totally different when they come in, but you're guarded. You're opening up to them, but it's not, it's not big at first. I feel like you're offering love, but you're a little guarded and protective. The movement of pentacles, the two of pentacles. So this is talking about a choice with the Two of Pentacles, or it's talking about, hang on. See things for what they are. And I'm getting the root chakra and the heart chakra here, red and green, that's standing out. 
So security may be on your mind in addition to love. So this may be what you're trying to balance out, right? All right, so. Your challenge is the five of swords, the naked heart, the four of pentacles and the spirit of pentacles. Your challenge is going to be naysayers. It could be ego as well. I feel like if it is ego, it's because you're overthinking. Your challenge could be getting an alignment. Okay, being vulnerable with your heart, because like I said, you're not opening up like in a huge way, but you are opening up. You're guarded. And I don't know what happened in the past, but it has something to do with that, even though this is a wish. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> wrong side, and the Nine of Swords. So there's a bit of anxiety here, Leo, a bit of anxiety because it, what's standing out is that you, you know that it's your fate. You know this person is for you, but you're still anxious and fearful that the past may be repeating itself. The heart of cups and the nine of pentacles. So see, this is how others are seeing you. Very confident, right? Offering up your heart to another and they don't like it. I feel like it's taking you away from them. Wow, so clarifying the Four of Pentacles is the Empress and the Emperor. So your challenge is to get in alignment with who you know you are which is the Empress of the Emperor. It is a divine counterpart. So it's like you need to elevate to where this person is, okay? Because I'm seeing that they are there. And I feel the missing ingredient is the vulnerability of the heart. That's the missing ingredient. So clarifying the naked heart is the Two of Wands and the Heart of Pentacles. So knowing and feeling uh, very, very optimistic about this relationship. Even if you're going and taking small steps forward, I feel like opening up, opening up your world, opening up your auric field, opening up your heart space is going to make all the difference when it comes to your challenge because you're going to be expanding with this person in a different way if you do do that. You're not leaving any limitations here. And that's room to grow here, Leo. So your outcome is the Ten of Wands, the Heart of Wands, the Death card, and the Innocence of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so I feel that there is a resurging of this relationship and a transformation because I feel like apologies will go back and forth, uh, expressions of passion will go back, back and forth, and it's going to be a lot of work. With the Ten of Wands here, it is going to be a lot of work, but I can tell you that it's worth it because the butterfly is standing out in the death card, and that is talking about transformation. Clarifying the Innocence of Cups. Is the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. If I can get all three. Okay. So, walking away through this communication, through this expression of your heart, walking away from what you know, the patterns of behavior that just aren't serving you is going to, you know, bring this confidence where you're going to be able to move faster with this person. It's going to pick up momentum. Okay. Clarifying the heart of wands is the four of swords and the two of cups.
So there's that healing and here's that coming together, right? With the soulmate, with a divine counterpart. It is your other half. So clarifying the lover, uh, sorry, not the lovers, the Ten of Wands is the lovers and the Seven of Swords. I feel like with putting a lot of work in, you you guys are trying to figure out, okay, how do we go about this? How are we going to work this communication, right? Ace of Swords. Um, if there was some lying, cheating, thieving going on in the past, I feel like this is going to be talked about. All right, but there will be clarity and truth. You will make choices together moving forward. This has been both of your wishes because you have the star card and the 10 of cups here, clarifying the death card. So major transformation is, I, I feel like it's happening because you're both wishing for it. You're both desiring it and you're both putting in the work. You're putting in the work and that makes all the difference when both parties are, you know, in that reciprocity of energy. It's effortless, really. Even though it's work, it doesn't feel like work because it's effortless. It's beautiful, Leo. It is beautiful. So let's see what the angels of Atlantis have to say for you. Okay, what should you know the most? Sandalphon, love. All right. So let's check out what this says. Sandalphon. And that makes total sense to me, Leo, that it is love. Because it is about you opening up and being vulnerable with your heart. And you rule the heart. So you know the drill. Beloved, you are a child of God and a peace lover at heart. This angelic oracle comes to you as a signal that new love or renewed love is dawning for you. See life through the com compassionate eyes of your guardian angel who emanates the Christos and perceive that love as being uncompromisingly beautiful. Look to the beauty that you will create for all in radiance of your love, which is a prison of the divine. Shifting your perspective to the angelic means you become a human angel and start to speak miracles all around you. Om Namah Shivaya to enliven your peace. Chan Om Namah Shivaya. Okay? So, Leo, I feel like they're saying, know who you are, see the light within you, right? And look at others through those same compassionate eyes that you're looking at yourself with, okay? And appreciate all that's around you. Walk with the heart, okay? Walk with the heart. So, Leo, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Um, no, information can't be found there. Please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. I took out the link because of the scammers. They were redirecting links, okay? Uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. Leo, make sure you're in the right Etsy shop. And I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.